Hey everybody, Justin Doman here with Elite Audio Video. I'm gonna walk you through one of our new pre-wire builds. Uh, we got a control four system going into this house. A lot of cool stuff going in uh, from LED lighting, control four, a cool media room. Um, it's a lot of stuff that we're gonna talk about. We're gonna kind of show you how we wire for everything and go over some of the technology so you guys can wire your own houses or have more information on what to tell your builder or AV company whenever it comes time to do your own home. So on the outside here, we have seven cameras. Um, right over there on that corner, I'm gonna zoom in here. We got Cat6 wiring uh, in all the locations for our turret cameras that are going up. We got my project managers here doing a full walkthrough, making sure all of our wiring is perfect, um, as well as LED uh, prep. So coming in here, we're gonna have a control four chime doorbell. Um, we're gonna put it on an angle mount so they can see out, uh, knowing when their packages come in. Uh, this hallway is really cool. Um, if you look up above, uh, these are all gonna be sheetrock clouds. And inside all the clouds, uh, on the inside, we're gonna have wrapped with LED so you can't see them, but that entire hallway will turn on at once uh, with either white light, blue light, green light, whatever you wanna do um, to get you some color. Coming out here on all of our windows, we're gonna have outside mount shades to kind of give us a little bit of privacy. Uh, we use screen innovation shades. Um, Super nice stuff, great fabric options um, to be able to give us our privacy. Coming into our office, uh, we didn't really have a good location for a TV in here, so we kind of just prepped it. Uh, we're gonna have cabinet LEDs going in. Um, so we have floating shelves, so all of our locations are marked off of our cabinet plans, and we got our wiring come back. Um, we do LEDs a little bit differently than a lot of electricians. We like to home run all of our wires back to our AV closet and have a space dedicated just for our drivers for troubleshooting. So up above here, we're going to have our TV pre-wired. If he ever wants to put one in, he'll be able to pull mount something and just kind of have it sit here over the window. Uh, he wasn't interested in a drop-down mount, as obviously we, we don't have the room because there's rooms above it. Coming into the master closet, we got a camera there just to kind of double check to make sure security-wise if anything comes in, you're able to, to see it. In the master bedroom, we have our TV. Right there, center between the windows. We have inside mount shades going up from Screen Innovations all the way around. Uh, these shades are wired with Cat6. You can also use 16.4. Um, Cat6 on these windows usually have about 150 to 200 foot range over the wire. Um, we have another inside mount going in over this door because there's no hardware. Um, whenever doors have hardware, we have to do an outside mount so it doesn't rub, um, but we were in the clear on that one. Coming into this bathroom, we're gonna have our mirror right there. Um, something cool that we've just started doing um, is a lot of lighting to replace direct cam lights for a more even um, look and you get a higher CRI value. So up above, you'll see we installed MDF board over the joists and you see a wire popping down. What that is, is the size of our LED tracks um, go into the sheetrock. So we kind of prep beforehand um, so the sheetrock can go up, up to that spot. They'll cut the sheetrock, and then whenever it's time to put our LEDs in, that will be removed, and our LED tracks will be able to easily slide in um, and cover all that without any issues. We have another cloud up above that is RGBW, so you get a little bit of color in here if you want to. Um, kind of adds a cool effect whenever you're taking a shower or doing things. We've got another shade inside mount on this window here. 
and we have a couple speakers um, in this house we're doing paradigm speakers um, I think we got the uh, P80s or parts of P65 going throughout the entire home coming into the master closet um, we're still waiting on our cabinet plans to come back we got a conduit ran up above um, and we kind of put a scuttle hole on the back side here to be able to wire everything in whenever it comes time but all these cabinets are going to be lit up uh, we're going to have shoe displays bag displays a lot of cool stuff going on in here so i can't wait to see how that turns out Coming into the wine room, this is going to be a cool feature of this house. I really, really like it. Um, we've got our overhead LED tracks once again. These are going to be our RGBW lights. Uh, so we've got our LED tracks going in, LEDs. We use a chrome extrusion from a company called Color Beam. Um, and the lights that are going in are actually going to be American lighting. Coming into the kitchen. We have all of our LED lighting wires in place for under cabinets, inside cabinets going in. Same thing over here, we're going to have under cabinet lights going all the way through. And then we have our wires ran through our conduit down below for our actual island lights. Coming into the living room, we got our wiring put into place for our TV, everything's wrapped nicely. Um, with saran wrap just to make sure that our wires um, are protected from all the texture sheetrock everything else and we got a conduit going back up into the attic that's accessible um, to be able to do a fiber hdmi uh, something that we really like to do is run fiber hdmis back to the rack so we get full 8k um, and technology that cat 6 can no longer support as well as what an actual hdmi cable up above we got two channel audio going in here we wired for a 5.1, but it's just going to be used for kind of house music at the time. Um, we've got an in-wall sub going in right here from Paradigm. Coming out here into the patio. Actually, we don't have anything on this patio here. Um, this is going to be the pool area right here. On the back side of the pool, we're going to have some origin acoustic bollards going in, as well as an in-wall or in-ground sub. Um, everything's wired back to a pool stub out, which we'll find here in a minute. Coming on to this patio, we got a couple speakers up above for the pool if we want them, um, as well as just kind of outside of this master bedroom if you want to come out and have some coffee. Um, in here, we've got our speaker brackets put in. Um, as well as a in-wall subwire um, in case they want to do a subwoofer later. I really like subs and gems. I feel like it gives you a little bit of extra kick to start working out. We've got our AV wiring up high for our TV. Let's see if it's pull wires right back here. Here's another one of our camera wires up above. I'm not sure if we can see that because I'm in the sun. Cat 6 wire to see everything back on this back gate. Don't think this is our pool stub. No. Yeah, all we have back here is our air conditioners. It's not our D mark. We'll find that on the other side. Okay, so coming back here, uh, we still have to wrap this wire, um, but we got our two 16 fours uh, and a Cat 6. That way they can do their origin acoustic speakers as well as if they ever want to do any type of TV out by the pool, they're going to be able to. All 
All right, coming into the outdoor patio, we have four speakers going up above. We have wiring for an access point as well. That way we have Wi-Fi by the pool as well as on this patio without having to go through any brick. All of our access points are just wired with the basic Cat6 and they run back up to the home run closet and plug directly into the main network switch for the house. We have our AV wiring, um, something that we didn't point out. A lot of builders don't use these um, or the AV companies don't. These are dual voltage boxes. They make your house look a lot better. Uh, both wires come through a single box so the plate goes on and has one big plate instead of two separate plates. The problem with the electrician's box and our regular low voltage boxes, they're actually just a hair different size so they always look wrong. So if you use a dual voltage box, it makes it look just a lot better. This is the game room slash media room. This room is gonna be really, really cool. So we have this entire room wrapped with LEDs to kind of give it a low lighted um, feel. He kind of wanted a speakeasy feel, kind of a dim, dimmer view. He ended up putting cam lights in last minute, but this room was originally just going to be LEDs, but we're gonna be able to light this up with red, green, blue, fuchsia, whatever color you want, as well as tunable white. So if they want 3000K light, kind of a yellowish soft light, they're gonna be able to. Um, or if they want to do full, you know, 5,000 or 6,000 K to light it up like a Home Depot or Lowe's, they're going to be able to do that as well. Um, we got two speakers in our game room for our sound. And then we have two 75 inch TVs being stacked on top of each other. Um, we have conduit going from the TVs down below. Uh, what that's for is if they want to plug in a game system, they'll have two HDMIs that they can run up that Smurf tube up to either TV and have a local game system that they can easily plug in because the problem with a home run system is controllers. We still have to have some way to be able to get our signal back up there and it just doesn't work as good. So we can put those there or we can mount, wall mount it behind the TV on the articulating mount. So we just kind of put a plug in just in case. Coming into the media room, we've got a 7.1 in-ceiling surround going in. If you notice, the front brackets are bigger than the rears. Those are gonna be Paradigm angled speakers up above, um, the Elite E85s. And then we just have our regular um, E80s going back behind us. And then we have more LED tracks to kind of keep that same feel going through this room. Uh, the LEDs wire in with a six conductor wire. Um, you can, depending on how long the run is, um, if it's under, uh, I'd say 100 feet, give or take, um, you can use a, um, it, it's a six conductor, so you can use 16 gauge wire, but you need a 16.4 and a 16.2. People do make a special wire that is strictly six conductor, but it's not as bendable, it's not as easy to use. Um, so I actually just prefer to use the, the two, uh, two wires, four conductor and a two conductor. Then right here, we're going to have our 100 inch TV. Uh, we're gonna use a 98 inch Samsung uh, QN98. Um, this is gonna be really badass in this space. So you're gonna be able to sit here and play pool, have a movie on over there, have a game on there, have a video game up above that. Um, it's just, it's gonna really, really be cool. Um, bear with me, we gotta climb upstairs. It's a little bit extra work. Actually, we'll come in here to the garage real quick. We got our security panel wire there. Um, and then up here, in these garages, we wire all of our garage doors in with a Cat6 wire um, to be able to open and close our garage doors directly from Control 4. Uh, what that does is allows us to run it back to the upstairs and the garage doors directly plug into what's called the EA5 or now the Core 5 through the relay um, 
connections. So whenever you click open garage doors, it instantly sends the signal over to be able to do that. Okay, coming upstairs, we've got just basic TVs in every room, nothing special up here. Then coming over to here, we have all of our AV cable Coming in, running down. This is all of our home run here. Everything is completely wire comb coming into the box. Saran wrap, labeled, ready to go. Um, then we also have our shade wires down below. So we'll be able to mount our shade drivers, our LED drivers on this wall. And then right over here, we'll be able to put our network switches into here. And then our two gangs up above is where our speaker wires will feed back through. In this last room, just another TV. So kind of a quick synopsis. We got a control four system going in here. We got motorized shades. We got a camera system. We got a control four doorbell. We got two surround, one surround sound and one area prep for another surround sound. We got eight zones of house audio. Um, so everything will just easily be controlled and be really cool. Uh, a lot of LED lighting as well. Uh, kind of let me know what you guys think. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you.